So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Johnson. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, he's doing a really good job of level changing off the strikes, too. Working from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Johnson. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He's got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. This is a terrible position. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Oh, nice. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Get them out here. Nice shot there by the champ. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Man, 
Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. You gotta be careful here. Oh, big elbow. That was a slick transition. He's got to start to get to the get up process. Because everybody talks like you just get up and you don't. It's a process, right? You get to the under, you build to the elbow, then you start to gain height to get back to your feet. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh. Beautiful ground strike landing. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Yeah. Oh, slick reversal right there. Less than two minutes now to go. Oh, great reversal to top position by Johnson. Oh, in the mouth. Lands with the ground and pound. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. In the half guard. Johnson's right back to the full mount here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Now he's got a good body position, yo. Good jab there by the champion. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Great shot from the top position. Great job landing the strike from his back. Johnson's back in full mount. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Uh, Horns out for the end of round yeah, one. Stop. Great job, guys. Same thing this round. Your ground control is unbelievable. I've never seen somebody with such control down there. All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Oh, lands a nice straight. Nice takedown defense. Oh, he separates from the clinch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, effective use of the jab by Johnson. Nice counter left hook to the head. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Not being 
isn't just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. Johnson's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Beautiful transition. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Big right hook there by the champ. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. He's trying to recover from the guard there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Under three minutes now to go here in round two. Constantly a moving target. Back mount now. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Yep, got to be very careful there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Johnson's back to the side control now. While the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Johnson. And another, another strike from the top, lands for him. Using a lot of good movement. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Johnson. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, side control now. Johnson's right back to the full mount. Under a minute now to go. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Johnson. Another strike gets through from the top position. Relentless pressure from the top by Johnson. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Johnson's able to transition back to side control now. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Nice transition. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the left punch, so look for a submission attempt. Right. Round three next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Pretty fast jab. Nice, low single takedown. All 
Right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Johnson. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Oh, right into Mo. Johnson's back in full now. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Now it's tight. There it is. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. That'll do it! Holy smokes! What a result in Rio, a stunner! Oh my goodness, what a fight. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 22 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Johnson. All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the, the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now. Over and over, you see him get new belts. The UFC heavyweight champion remains the same.